Well, the sound alone will make you cringe, and then you see this video. This is the staircase at Red Rocks, which turned into a rushing waterfall last night as hail had people running to hide as well. An amazing uh, turnaround this morning. Denver 7's Jessica Crawford is out there live where we already saw some people up ready to hike today. Uh, but last night, this was not the place to be as those fans of Louis Tomlinson were treated for injuries from that hail. Absolutely a big difference out here now from what it was looking like just earlier to, uh, earlier a few hours ago because right now we're seeing a nice clear blue sky. It is still very windy though. A lot of that hill has melted down. But yes, you're right, Nicole, completely different story from last night to where people not only received bruises from that hill, but some of them even received damage to their property as well. We spoke with some people who had a crack on their windshield because of the hail. Now, Louis Tomlinson, the person who was actually performing here, former member of One Direction, did send some love out to the fans. He did acknowledge that bad weather, tweeting out, devastated about the show tonight. Hope everyone's okay. I'll be back. Even though we didn't play the show, I felt all of your passion sending love. And the fans need all of that support after that hailstorm really pounded a Red Rocks ahead of this concert last night. Many of the viewers sent video into the Denver 7 newsroom showing concert goers fleeing for safety. Seven people were taken to a hospital. Dozens more were hurt as the hailstorm pummeled concert goers last night. Now, according to West Metro Fire, those who were taken to the hospital had non life threatening injuries. 80 to 90 people were treated here at the scene. Injuries included cuts and broken bones. We spoke with some teens whose windshield was broken in that weather. It just started pouring hail. It, it just got bigger. It, and yeah, there was some golf ball sized pieces. It was crazy. So we tried to get to the gate so we could get to our car, but they closed the gate, I guess, for like flood, flooding stuff so we didn't get swept down the hill. And so we were all just like, to yeah, we were, yeah, we were all just huddled around each other. I looked over to see where they were going to then try to get us somewhere safer. And people were um, like, black people's backs were bleeding. Yeah, there were bad People bugs. had like tank yeah. tops on, like their backs and their like um, lats were like bleeding and like running down. And those were just a few of many concert goers who had to deal with that rough weather last night. So what happens to the fans now? Are they ever going to get to see this concert? So this concert has been pushed back twice due to weather. The venue does say that they're going to be reaching out to ticket holders to discuss a resolution. And we don't know at this point what that could be. Live from Red Rocks, I'm Jessica Crawford, Denver 7. Wow. Yeah. Scary. So many people mm -hmm. waking up this morning wondering what just happened yeah. uh, and, and, and maybe couldn't sleep because of mm -hmm. the sound overhead of.